Welcome to our podcast today. And our podcast, the title of the podcast is The Bicycle Ride. And it's, it's, a, it's a really wonderful story. And it's about a, a girl and a boy. And the girl is based in London, England. And the guy is based in India. And so word of mouth, somehow or another, the girl got, someone told her that uh, there's a wonderful painter in India. And she wanted to get her portrait done. And so she set off to India to get the portrait done by this wonderful painter. So when she got there, they started talking and just, you know, one thing led to another. And they made, you know, made a great connection. And they just, they understood each other very well. Both of them were young. Both of them were in school. Um, Both of them loved the passion of learning. So um, she stayed a little bit longer than necessary. She stayed about four months instead of staying her two weeks or three weeks to get the painting done. They both got married. They got married under Indian rituals. Um, And so then they got married, but it was time for her to go back to her family, go back to finish her studies in London. So thousands of miles were separating the two, but the feelings never, they never, they never change. Um, What they would do is they would write each other letters. They would send each other letters back and forth, back and forth. And then um, one day, one day she offered to, you know, send for, send for her husband in India. She wanted to, you know, she missed him so much. She, she said, I'll buy you airline ticket and come over and come over and see me. But he refused. He says, you know what, right now I, I don't have the money to come see. It's, it's very expensive. And I, I really want you, I want to do it on my own terms. I want to do things on my own terms. And so he, he made a promise that he would do anything he could to see her again. He made that promise. I'll do everything I can to see her. So that gave him some time to finish his studies. After he finished his studies, he sold all his possessions. He took all his possessions. He took all his possessions and he sold them. Unfortunately, the money, yeah, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough um, to even come close to a flight ticket. All he could afford was a cheap and used bicycle. Um. For most people, most people that have been, you know, kind of disappointed, but other people, people who achieve higher, they just say they don't look at it as a disappointment in stopping. They look at it as just part of the process. And so what he did was, what he did was he knew it was a difficult circumstance, but the love for her, he, he promised her he would do everything he could to go see her. So what he did was he started riding his bicycle. He started riding his bicycle to go see her. And you can understand there was London and then there's India. So he started riding, uh, riding his bicycle. But as he was riding his bicycle, you know, he, he would stop from town to town. And he would do paintings. And, you know, he took his brushes, his paintings, and his little anything he could to earn extra money on his way. His voyage led him over eight countries and took more than four months. So he went over eight countries and took him four months, four months. But eventually he got there and he saw the love of his life. And from, from then on, they were never apart again. And I'm just asking myself, as, I, as my wife and I read that story, what are we willing to do to see the love of our life? What are you willing to do? What sacrifices will you make? Because I know like one of the scenarios was that he sold, he sold all the possessions that he had and it was still not enough money to go see his wife. Not even close, you know, not even close. But he, you know, he used the resources that he had and he used the bicycle. But then you think, wow, I got to go through eight countries eight countries, and it may take me four to six months to get there. That's a lot. You know, that's, you know, that's, that's a lot. Eight countries. And would, would, would you be willing to do all that? Would you be willing to sacrifice? And then plus you have to stay somewhere. You have to do things. And I was thinking about how love, love will make you do a lot of, a lot of stuff that you don't think you can do. Love will make you do things that you're, you're just not, 
in your mind, you're not ready for it. And then when you're approached with this situation, when you're approached with this situation, how will you handle it? Will you just say, okay, well, you know, I'll just wait and I'll just wait and wait till she sends me money or give up and feel sorry for yourself or you do something about it. And we're all, we're all, you know, we're all going to face these challenges of pushing ourselves to the next level. When you're pushing yourself to the next level, it's not easy because it's, it's a reason why there's a next level. And to be honest with you, he, as I look at a lot of situations that I deal with and it's getting to the next level is very important. As I construct this podcast and I enjoy talking and getting to the next level is going to be very difficult. Getting to the next level is it's not easy. As I look at taking this podcast to the next level, there's some things in post that I have to do. There's some little things in post, um, little things in post that I have to edit. There's some things in post that I, I have to incorporate so that the sound quality is decent. A lot of times we'll just, um, I have this, I have this wonderful voice recorder, record it, throw it to the web. And it's like, wow, I, I've done enough. But to take it to the next level, to take it to the next level, is that really going to take it to the next level? And I've been putting um, some, a lot of time into the podcast and um, trying to make it better. Um, eventually, uh, we'll, 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 you know, as we, as we do things, we'll get things a lot better. We'll get a, a theme song. We'll, we'll get things um, flowing. But the thing is, I like about him, he said, I want to do it on my own terms. And then sometimes when we want to do things on our own terms, sometimes maybe that's, maybe that's sometimes that will get in our own way. I'm faced with a project this weekend and I want to do it on my own terms. I could easily pick up the phone, call someone, hey, I need this, this, this done. But then again, I'm asking myself, if you're capable, just do it. You know, what's it going to take you? Some time, some thought process, put that money in your pocket. But a lot of times we want to take the easy way out. And she gave him that option of, of getting on the plane and come seeing her. But a lot of times just doing things and going over eight countries and that struggle, and then you look back at it, you look back at the progress that you made, and you go, wow, I did that on my own. I'm proud of myself. And that's what it is. Every day you get up, you have to be proud of what you're doing. You have to be proud of, of the accomplishments that you made. Today I was, I was, I was uh, talking to some colleagues, talking to some colleagues at, at work today. And I was just, you know, every now, every Friday we have, we have donuts. We have donuts in the, t in the lounge, in the lounge, meeting room, whatever you want to call it. Every, every place they have donuts, they have snacks. It just kind of gets people to come together and talk. No one ever goes up there all week, but when the donuts are there, eh, you know, hey, you know, I have people say, I can't go up there because this and this and this and that, but they still make it up there on Friday. So I go up there and um, I just, you know, I, I like to have conversation. I like to ask questions. And my question today was, what was your nickname in college or high school? And how did you, be, you know, how did you come up with that nickname in college or high school? And as I was listening to people talk about their nicknames, as I was listening to people talk about their nicknames, it kind of told me about their personalities. It kind of told me about the things that they were willing to accomplish with their life. They're, it's kind of telling me that, you know what, I, I'm a fighter, not, not a physical, but I, I will endure a lot of different things. I, I'm, I'm willing to do certain things to attain my goals. And some of them, some of them, some of the nicknames were incredible. They're very incredible. And, and this one, this one person that I have, and she told me, and her, her name is, you know, her last name is McCall. And I was like, okay. You know, and I said, what, what is your nickname? And she said, Big Mac. I said, okay, McCall. Okay. I, I get it. Big Mac. Okay. She goes, no, 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 no. Not because of my name. Not because of my name. It's because my teammates or something, they, they challenged me. They challenged me 
and this was a long time ago, they challenged me um, an eating contest. And I said, an eating contest? She goes, yeah, an eating contest. They challenged me, and in one sitting, one sitting at a restaurant, I ate 14 Big Mac hamburgers. And so that's how I got my name as Big Mac. And I'm sitting here, almost, almost, I was eating a donut, almost choked on my donut. I was like, you ate 14 Big Macs? She goes, you'll be amazed the things that you can do when you're challenged. When someone puts that challenge in front of you, you'll be amazed the things that you can do. And I said, I can, I can maybe eat two. She goes, you'll be amazed when people doubt you, the inner strength that you will, you will have and you will obtain when people put things in front of you and say, oh, yeah, you, you know, you're not going to accomplish that. So I thought that was interesting how in the story, going back to our story, how he was presented with a challenge. He was presented with a challenge of seeing his wife and being together with her. And I can imagine all the the thoughts and the people saying, nah, it's over. She probably doesn't love you. Why are you wasting your time? Even going through those eight countries, maybe after the first country, he probably said, well, I just can turn around. It's not worth my time. It's not worth my effort. Then he got to the second country. He said, oh, okay, you know, I'm making a little progress, but I'm a little tired. It's, it's not too late to turn around. Then he probably got in the middle of it, the middle of the, of the trip. And he said, well, I'm halfway there, but I can still turn around. And yeah, he got about three-fourths there, and he probably was extremely tired. And there's something in him that said, just keep pushing and keep pushing. And then when he got there, he probably looked back and said, wow, the bicycle ride was worth every pedal that I made to get here. Every pedal and every hill, road, dirt road, soggy, soggy conditions, sunshine, dust flying in your eyes. It's worth it. Just probably the look on her eyes. And just I can imagine when they saw each other, when he rode up in on his bicycle, I can imagine the look that she gave him, like, you're willing to ride over eight countries, four months to see me. I, I, I appreciate that effort. And it's all about effort. As today, as, as I was getting ready to um, do my podcast, you know, someone knocked on my door and, wanted to talk and I said, okay, there's an opportunity, there's an opportunity to, you know, not do my podcast today. It doesn't matter. You know, no one's listening anyway. So yeah, just don't worry about it. Don't, you don't have to do your podcast today. It's not that important. But then something in my mind said, well, is that one person out there who needs your voice of comfort, needs your voice to get past a certain situation out there? I don't know. But if I can help one person get better and, and keep them pushing toward their goals, yeah, it's well worth it. So I just push, came back, pushed a button, started recording. So if I'm helping people, that's great. And that's what it's all about is you're going to be presented with challenges, but you have to keep pushing yourself and get that negative thought out of your mind. And as I close this up and as I restate this and as we get going on our day, Thanks again for everyone who's listening. Thanks again for all the feedback. If you have questions or topic you want us to talk about, you know, leave it on the um, comment line below and we will see you on the next one. All right. Thank you and have a good one.